Hey everyone, welcome back. Remember, we defeated their commander, but we still don't know what they're after. It seems unlikely that they were merely pursuing Princess Alencia. I wonder if Dayan is planning to invade Gallia. Perhaps Grania was only a stone on which to wet their blades. The motive, the motive. The fact remains that Dayan crossed the border. Under such, such circumstances, hostilities between Dayan and Gallia could break out at any time. So it's war again. If war erupts between the Bjork and Lugus, it's only a matter of time before other nations become involved. Could Dayan truly mean to set the land aflame in a blaze of war? You mean as if it were a fire in which was controlled by an emblem? Oh my as gosh! As if it were a fire emblem? That would be amazing. <laughs> but if that happens, many of our citizens will be sacrificed on the altar of their ambition. We do need to choose which way to move, which whose side to take. Whose side? We shall never support Dayan! It's unthinkable! Captain Tani, we are human. Would you trust us on the side of the sub with Lagoos or the other humans? That is unthinkable. Bjork and Lagoos. Are you going to sit here and argue about a war that hasn't started, Nya? You Bjork are all so timid. It's pathetic, Nya. Lathe, you must not say such things. Mordecai, Lathe, what, what do you think? Will it come to war? Our claws are sharp. If Dane invades Gallia, we are ready for battle. If our king wills it, war will come. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like it now. War brings pain, sorrow. This is troubling. Enough. We must. We have lost much time. Let us make for the palace. Nya. Yeah? We must reach tonight's camp before the sun sets. Nya. Yeah? Is the palace still far? On your skinny Bjork legs, it is very far. But we will do as we can, nya. Yeah. Not my skinny Bjork legs! Oh. They're like little chicken wings. Well, if it's not Bjork, <laughs> don't fix it. If it's not Bjork... <laughs> okay. My Lord Ike! Everyone! Princess Alencia, wow, it's been a long time since I've seen your face. I heard about... Uh, Commander Grail. I... I don't know what to say. Don't worry, we're all right. We're getting by, somehow. Oh, Ike. The king has arrived. Um, uh, hey there. So I looked it up last night, and his name is actually Kynigus. Kynigus? Yes, like K-A-I-N-I, or N-U-G. H I S. Kai Nuggets. That's so yeah. weird. Thank you for coming to Gallia Palace. I am Kai Nuggets, ruler of the Kingdom of Gallia. What the heck? Uh, you, you're gonna have to speak up. I don't think anyone can hear you. Uh, these are the Grail mercenaries. I'm Ike, their commander. You have been really smiling, young pup. I didn't recognize you. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 I hope that picks up like I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> but when you were last here, you were still a small child. Is that you, Titania? It's good to see you. The pleasure is all mine, your majesty. The two of you are friends? How? How does the king know me? I have something I must tell you about your father, Grail. Faith, <laughs> Mordecai, we must now. Her room, so I guess we have a place to rest and heal the wounds. At once, my lord, Nya. Would it be best if I were to leave as well? No, princess, I would have you stay, and this one always uh, will stay. <laughs> Who are you? This is Gifka, my shadow. Pay him no more heat than you would the air because he's, you know, a shadow. Understood. I, I would have Titania and Soren stay with me as well. Me? So be it. Then we begin. Titania, I wish I grill to the sun. <laughs> so he's young. <laughs> From really far away. Ike was raised with no knowledge of Gallia whatsoever. Nor does he recall ever having been here. Is that so? It is best for me to tell him all that I know. Although that is not much. That's alright, whatever you can, tell me would be much appreciated. 
I want to know more of my father. Hmm, you have good eyes. Honest and brave, I see your father in them. Long ago, Grail, your father worked as a mercenary for Galio. We forged a strong bond, he and I. To speak truly, I still do not trust the Bjork, but your father was different. Princess Celestia's father, King Ramon, and his brother, Lord Red Girls, different guy. Sorry, I actually had to go far away this time. <laughs> oh, are, are all, or were, exceptional men, men in whom one could put his trust. What about with Sonia? You are an exception as well. Among your females, you are unique. You are most gracious, your majesty. My father was a mercenary for Gallia. Correct. You and your sister, you were both born here in Gallia. Stayed only for a short time, but by each other, spent within the borders. Miss and I were born here? Is that so? I don't remember any of this at all. You know, your parents were carrying a dark secret. Someone was hunting them. Have you ever? Once, over ten years ago, after your mother had been slain, your father chose to meet Gallia. Before he left, he went to him and asked him to share his tale. I asked him, why are you being chased? Is there anything I can do to help? I was able to lose his time. And then I heard he had turned to Gallia. I thought I had another chance to stay. <laughs> so much. <laughs> so not the right voice for this character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I could eat. If I had been faster, if I had hastened my steps, perhaps things would have been different. Wait, now I understand. The voice I heard. That was you, wasn't it? This move was fatal. I could do nothing. I thought it best not to interfere in his final moments with the main hit. Tell me. At his last, did he confess anything to you? He was dead in the black night. Did you reveal it? The Black Knight? No, I don't know who he was. My father entrusted me with his command, told me to trust King Kynegus <laughs> to live peacefully in Gallia. He said to forget everything else. Said so! Well, then let me do as I can! But if your mercenary is there to live here, I will so arrange it. I will vouch save them homes and land. Your kindness is truly appreciated, but speaking for myself, I couldn't live here in peace. Not now. I will avenge my father. I cannot so quickly forget the past, or the Black Knight. But Ike, that's not... I know. I'm not... I'm not strong enough. An opponent who can defeat my father is well beyond my reach. But that's why I've devoted myself to growing stronger. I will lead my father's mercenaries and prepare for the day when my chance for revenge arrives. A prudent course of action. You look as one who would be more impulsive, but you are great outside after all. <laughs> You've matured, Ike. It seems like yesterday that you were merely a child. Ah! Uh, uh, Titania! Mm. Uh, this is not fair! <laughs> <laughs> and now I would ask a part of you. The strength of your mercenary band, Ike. Did you let it to Princess Valencia? Are you, are you serious? King... Canagus! Kelly and Quiet are early nations. I cannot be denied. However, lies in reality binds only the royal family is not respected by citizenry. The people of Gallia are seldom seen in Crimea, are they? Even though our nations are friends, the people of Crimea have little real understanding of the Lagoos. Many of our people still use that undignified name subhuman when they speak of the Lagoos. <laughs> you just see Sora. My father's heart was filled with shame and sorrow over what you describe. More than any king in our history, he wanted to deepen relations between our people and then... Perhaps I'm going to date target now. The future of the Ragoons is well known. Could it be? In my heart of hearts, I would like to take guardianship of Princess Valencia and assist in the building of Grimy. However, as of your sentiment is running high here at Gallia, we were to offer safe harbor to Valencia. I feel many of our elder statements. We're protest. They would say that we were giving Dane an ideal excuse to attack. Which means Gallia can't offer Princess Alinzia any relief at all, is that it? Fortunately, it's true. My lord Ike, King Canagus, has advised me to turn to Banyan Theocracy for aid in Crimea's restoration. He says we should make of Banyan a formal request and gain the support of their shields. Passage to Benyon will require several months at sea. An escort will be necessary. As you know, we lack the numbers to serve as a complete mercenary army. So if the princess were willing to hire us as an escort, 
It would be an offer beyond our expectations. Titania Soren, I think perhaps we should accept the king's offer. What do you say? It's what you want, right, Commander? Well, then it's our job to follow you. Maybe we should proceed, it's fine. I'll do it with my power to ensure that our road leads to success. Understood. As of now, the Grail Mercenary shall assume the honor of serving as an escort to the Princess of Crimea. Princess Alencia, our journey together will undoubtedly be a long one. May we serve you well. Oh, thank you very much. I only pray that I, in turn, may be worthy of your service. Yay! So much quiet dialogue! <laughs> And now, there's probably going to be a little bit more before our next prisoner release. What? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Who's a, pr who's a prisoner? Oh, you'll be familiar with these two. Oh, am I? Cool. Hey, Ike, I heard you're leaving. Going to Benyon, eh? Hello, Renolf. I was hoping I'd see you. I wanted to thank you for everything you've done. I'm glad to have the chance before I leave. Well, aren't you the dutiful one? Hey, that reminds me. You were born here in Galia, right? I knew there was something odd about you. You're awfully friendly for a Bjork, you know? Oh, you might not know, but a uh, Bjork is what... I know what it means. It's what you call us humans, right? Oh, knew that, did ya? Well then, let me tell you something else. When we use the word human, we mean it much the way you Bjork do when you call us subhuman. Really? Uh, it's an insult to be called human? I'm glad you told me. I would never have guessed. I should warn you, if you run across any lagoons who call you that, be careful. They're no friend of yours. They're racists. <laughs> I got it. Thanks. I won't forget. But I've digressed long enough. Let me explain why I'm here. Huh? Princess Alincia, may I have a moment of time? Yes, of course. The king asked that I give this to you. Please accept it as his gift. What? May I ask? Within that leather pouch, the 20,000 gold pieces. Your currency, of course. Oh, I truly appreciate this generous offer, but a gift of this magnitude is not something I can accept. King Canigus has done so much more than necessary already. The king is ashamed that he could not, at this time, provide any personal support. Please, will you accept his apology and acknowledge his desire to aid you? But... No? Well then, let's try this. Yes? You accept the king's gift. Then, as payment for conducting you safely to Galia, you hand it over to Ike. Um... Come on, Renolf. You can't expect her to accept this, and it's an outrageous fee, no matter how you look at it. 20,000 gold for the life of a princess? Perfectly reasonable. In fact, it almost borders on insulting. Consider how you have suffered, the lives you have lost. Ten, no, a hundred times this amount would not be unreasonable. Huh. I, I have reconsidered. I will accept the king's kindness. In turn, I will present it to my lord Ike. You will accept it, will you not? I... I will. Thank you. No, my lord Ike. It is I who must thank you. Got 20,000 gold! Thank you very much! Well now, that's settled. Let's move on. Unfortunately, we do not have any ships here in Galia. If you are to find a ship that will take you to Benyon, you must return to occupied Crimea. Well, shoot! <laughs> <laughs> if there's no other way, then we'll just have to risk it. Well, no matter how cautiously you proceed, you're certain to run into Dane forces. Keep that in mind. I understand. It's too bad we're so short on soldiers. Still, there's not much we can do about that now. However, I will review our supplies carefully before we depart. In regards to your personnel problems, the king has decided to lend you what aid he can. Leif Mordecai! I will join you! Mordecai and Blaith, both of you, are you sure? None of the others could stand the idea of traveling with humans, Nya. I myself tremble with loathing at the thought of going to Benyan, but... Uh, when the king gives an order, obedience is the only option, Nya. That may be, but having witnessed the combat prowess of the Galleons for myself, I know how fortunate we are. We will not fail you! <laughs> I have no intention of becoming friends! Don't forget that! And stay out of my way, Nya! Ha ha! You must forgive Leif! Her tongue cuts as deep as her claws do! I will return once I've reported to the king! While I'm gone, please finish your preparations for departure! Very well. I hear something for that spot! MVP Rolf! <laughs> New allies! Five Leif, of them! Mordecai, Miss Rolf Marsha. 
There were no casualties. No one suffered a permanent injury. We fought excellently. That's all I have to report. If you excuse me. It's probably because you didn't save the other villager, dude. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Alrighty! Talk Quick go through the info. Huh? You there, Bjork. What do you think you're doing? Uh, I was trying to get back to my room, but I've lost my way. Can you tell me which way I need to go? It's this way. Follow me. Hey, not so close. Walk behind me. What? Er, pardon me. The king's order does to treat Bjork with guidance, but... Uh, it will take some time. I just called you Bjork, so you must know that I'm racist. Anyway, it's difficult to fight that instinct. No, I thought it was if they call you human, it's racist. Oh. If they call you Bjork, that's... That's, uh... You that, that's human! Uh, <laughs> that's, yeah. Ah, that's right, that's right. Perhaps some memory of the slavery our forefathers suffered at Bjork hands will fall flows in blood. I understand. I'll, I'll keep my distance. Very well, let's go. All right. <laughs> Ra -da -da -da. Wait, what was I doing at night that got lost? <laughs> God. Yeah, what was I doing? And so we put this guy right here, and this dilly bobber goes there, and we're finished. Packing, huh? Want some help? Do I want some? <laughs> You're a hoot, handsome. I'm already done. You're more skillful at this than I would have imagined. Or is it that Mist is woefully inept? Aw, the Benyon Pegasus Knights were always moving around, so I learned to pack quickly. They used to train us in it all the time. Go here, pack this, fun stuff. Is that so? I can see that you have a strong sense of duty. Quitting the Benyon Pegasus Knights to join us must seem... What are you saying? I'm a burden now? Uh, no, I'm very grateful you're here. As I told you before, we're short on personnel. Oh, good then. And I'm happy to be here. Um, say I, you don't need to worry about me quitting the Benyong service. My decision wasn't based solely on my desire to repay you. You had other reasons? Yes, I... I'm also searching for my missing brother. Ah, that dingus. <laughs> he may be a dolt and a scoundrel, but he's all the family in the world I have in this world. Remember when you found me when we were fighting the pirates? Well, I was trying to track him down. But every time I go looking for him, I end up in some dangerous situation with ugly boat monkeys trying to kill me. <laughs> so that's why you decided to join us, is it? I can understand that. Yeah, dude, monkeys are creatures. <laughs> that out with them boat monkeys, bro. <laughs> so, are you sorry you asked? Not at all. The important thing is finding your brother as quickly as possible, right? That's the plan. I love these little side stories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you seem depressed. <laughs> 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 Look at who I'm trapped with. Of course, I'm depressed. And keep your worthless observations to yourself, Nya. All of you are so low. I can't believe you're still not ready. Nya. We're slow, not low. Oh, sorry. I, I, <laughs> I missed the... <this. laughs> sorry about that. If we, if we were like you and didn't need to carry anything, it would be easier, but we have weapons and things to get ready. Weapons of steel are a human weakness. Without them, you cannot fight properly. Yeah. But Leif, you're carrying a dagger, aren't you? In the scabbard on your leg. This is not for fighting, yeah. Then what is it for? I use it to remove small bones from meat. It can also cut fruit into bite-sized pieces. It has proven quite useful now. But enough. you're a cat and you kind of just like, you know, go to town on dead animals. So isn't that kind of like, you know, useless? I mean, uh, anyway, uh, hmm. What? If you got something to say, spit it out. I, I accidentally did. Those <laughs> were supposed to stay in my head. <laughs> you, you despise Bjork, but you don't mind Bjork crafted tools. If something's good, it's good. Denying something's obvious worth out of petty spite is foolish, you know? And that's why we carry weapons, because they're good! <laughs> <laughs> it's not that I... I do not despise everything, Bjork, you know? If every Bjork could get along with us as well as you do, I'm certain... Leif? No, oh, this is a ridiculous conversation, Nya! I'm leaving now, Nya! Nya, Nya! <laughs> hmm... And that is gonna do it. We're gonna be leaving as well. So, thank you very much for sticking around with us. Uh, if you've been here the whole time, we love you. And we hope you're, uh, we will continue to support us through all this. Um, and we'll be saying goodbye and good night and have a good one. And see ya. And ta-ta. And later, losers. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>